Okay, I'm back in the plane now. There's the David Clark headset that you're going to get. Um, your, uh, all your uh, fuses are there. There's your cylinder head temp right there, your beacon. Okay, the alt test is up in here. Hard to, hard to see actually, right there. Okay, your speed indicator clock, which works once the plane's running. Um, the exhaust, exhaust uh, gauge there. Exhaust temp gauge. This is a very handy thing, this exhaust temp gauge here. Uh, you want to run it right there, if you can. Around there. And it's the mixture that controls it. The leaner it is, the hotter it'll get. Don't get it past there. Right there is good. And it won't get there until the engine's warm. Turn and bank. DG. Vertical climb. RPMs. Never exceed is 2700. I don't think I've ever had it much past 2600, so I don't know if you can even get it there. Uh, down here is your uh, fuel pump, landing light, your strobes, pitot heat, which I have never used. Your park brakes down here, and it works perfectly. I had it on last night. Okay, your fuel selector here, left and right. Quadrant throttle here. Okay, mixture here and flaps down here. One click, two clicks, that's it. If you really got to drop fast, use two. I always use one for takeoff and landing. Uh, over here is your uh, your primer, which I'll need, so I'm going to pull it out. Uh, cold start, normal day, two or three, once it's filled, with the fuel pump on, okay, and then uh, locked, and then about just a tiny bit of throttle about there, full rich, which will fire right up. Uh, here's your nav lights and panel lights, and these are your late radio lights, and they're adjustable. Again, I don't fly at night, so I haven't used them too much, but uh, these turn your uh, red, the red and the uh, green lights on on your starboard and uh, port sides, right? Okay, leave those off. And this is the radio. We're 122.8 Unicom. It's in the on position. I have it on. You're supposed to turn it off and put it to 121.5 to check the ELT, which was just recertified. It's right there, and it's in the on position. This is your uh, this is your uh, nav side. If it's in the on position, that will tune your VOR. And this is your VOR instrument here. This is a Loran. You can take that out if you want and maybe buy a nice uh, flip-flop, digital flip-flop for this and have a, a, a second comm. That's what I would do. Or at least take it out to save some weight, <laughs> if nothing else, eh? It's just a boat anchor. Or put a nice GPS in. This is a great spot for a GPS right here, this plate here. You can either Velcro on one of those Area 500s or, uh, or it might even have enough space there for, uh, for an iPad maybe which is a sweet little thing. Um, you know, here's your uh, transponder. I uh, usually have it in the alt position, and uh, we don't have, we don't need this here, so I, I, I just leave it off. But if I'm going to Kelowna, I need it. Here's your, here's your calm radio control, okay? Um, I don't really mess with this too much because it's uh, set properly for me, so. Another thing to point out, this is your uh, compass. I don't know if you can see it because the bright light is really kind of messing things up here but uh, and then your 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 your, your out, outside temperature there what is it right now it's uh, are you guys gonna hate me it's like nine degrees Celsius now up here is very important this is the second lock you lock the doors you go like that and you know it's very very well sealed then and you have a speaker here if you want to listen to it Oh, they even put an exit sign. What do you know? There's only two doors and there's an exit sign. So make sure these are these are locked. They're in a down position and this is locked. Otherwise, you'll take off and they'll make a horrible whistling sound. There's a, uh, on both sides, you have a push to talk. This is brand new on this side over here. This one's brand new. And we hardwired it so that you could just plug straight into the dash. No gangly wires or anything. This is your heater here. Okay. Key is right there with your mag one, mag two. Okay, and then start, you just turn it like a car, which is kind of cool. Here's your uh, masters. Okay, so we're gonna go master on. Now my audio's on. All right, so we'll give it, now we're gonna start it. 
So I'm going to give it one, two, three. Okay, good. Four. That's good. Fuel pump on. Okay. Now we'll go clear. I didn't prime it enough. Sure that's locked. There we go. Right there. Okay. Okay, I lied about the time. We need, we need three or four. Sorry about that. Okay, there we are. And we're just going to get let it warm up a bit. At about a thousand RPM, 1200 RPM. Otherwise, it might stall on. You start to lean it out, 